the C-130 has a long legacy of getting troops and cargo from point A to point B. However, while the Hercules is versatile, from a gunship to wielding the powers of the shadow, and a legend, let's face it, it does have limitations. Part of it is the fact it can carry 22 tons at most in the C-130J-30 version. So, Airbus decided to try to address that shortcoming. The result is the A400M Atlas, and like Japan's C2 Transport, it is intended to fit in the niche between the C-130 and the C-17. The difference is that while Japan chose to build a scaled-down C-17, Airbus decided that the answer involved giving the C-130 a steroid boost, just as Japan did with the F-16. The result is a plane that lists more, 37 tons compared to 22, has more endurance, 4,800 nautical miles to 2,100, and which can still land on rough fields like the C-130. The C-17, according to an Air Force fact sheet, needs a 3,500-foot runway. So, what exactly does this mean? The cargo hold is 58 feet long, 13 feet high, and 13 feet wide. Airbus says the plane can carry an NH-90 or CH-47 helicopter, or most infantry fighting vehicles. And we're not talking a striker we're talking a heavy infantry fighting vehicle like Germany's Puma. The A400M will also be able to haul troops, and unlike the C-2 or C-17, it is also capable of being used as a tanker. Yeah. Like the C-130, the Atlas is capable of topping up fighters on a ferry run or when they are headed out to carry strikes.